Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. And guys, we're back and uh, we're gonna be looking at some clutches that have hatched out in the incubator. Some super Mojave stuff. And then I have a really interesting clutch that I think is dual sired. So, you know, I wanna make this kind of an educational video on how to identify genes in leucistics and then also what you do and how you figure out and how you know if you have a dual sired clutch. So let's check out what's going on here in the snake room on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. All right, just wanna give you guys a quick clutch update. These Super Mojaves, the three I produced, hatched out and shed. Beautiful blue-eyed leucistics. Super Mojaves are one of my favorites. They're not the whitest. They have like purples in them. I like the purples. Better than the than the pure like Russo's uh, uh, blue-eyed leucistics, which are probably the whitest of them all. These are like the like purple tinge in them with the blue eyes. These are special though. These are not just Super Mojaves. First of all, these could be potentially GHI pastel Super Mojaves. They're all 100% head clown. And we're gonna do a little trick on that's, that, uh, you know, is pretty well known in our industry now. If you turn out the lights and you shine a UV light on these guys, you sometimes can see pattern. If you see pattern, that could indicate that there is indeed uh, GHI in there. Now, I'm just even looking at this one, look at this one. Even with no UV light, I see, I see almost like a vertical line down here, yellowish line down the back of it. So we're gonna put this under some UV light and we're gonna see what these guys look like. I just wanted to show you up there. I, I, once again, they're just so beautiful, these Super Mojaves. Um, white snakes are great. And when you can put a lot of genes into them, I mean, these guys have potential, they're not just Super Mojaves. Once again, some of them are GHI Super Mojaves and they're all head clowns. So these are powerhouse. Ironically, they're all girls. I've been producing a lot of females female only litters, it's crazy. Bawas and ball pythons. So, it's a little clutch update from these guys. All right, here's a little trick. When you have a Super Mojave, you can shine a black light or UV light on them, and you can see if they have pattern. Now this, this Super Mojave is possible GHI in pastel. And when I'm shining this UV light on it, I see pattern coming out. It almost looks like some striping on this one. So this could certainly be a GHI Super Mojave. This middle one has no pattern. Look at it, it's completely white, which tells me there's no GHI in it. It's probably just Super Mojave. I mean, it possibly could be pastel in this thing, so you can't really tell. Pastel's not gonna really show up, but although maybe you would have pattern if it was pastel, I don't know. And then this third one, look at that pinstriping. It almost has like a yellow pinstriping on it, which could certainly indicate that there is GHI in there. Because it's showing some pattern, something going on there. See that little, that line? GHI definitely will create a, a, a vertical line down the dorsal stripe. So I think two of these are GHI Super Mojaves. Also, they're all head clowns, and I think one of them is just a pure Super Mojave that's head clown. So I guess this thing does work. I've tried it in the past, never really got too much luck, but with these Super Mojaves, I'm definitely seeing something here. All right, this is my Enchi Butter female. Doesn't sound anything too spectacular. You know, nowadays everything's pied and clown and all kinds of, you know, craziness. This Enchi Butter female though has been so consistent for me, producing really nice clutches. Butter is essentially lesser. They're about the same gene, you know, get the same results. Enchi obviously enhances everything, makes it better. I love getting Enchi into everything. This female has consistently, once again, produced for me the last couple of years and she laid a great clutch that is hatching out now, so I want to show you some of the babies. Interestingly enough, the reason I'm showing you two snakes is these are two potential fathers or sires of these clutch that I'm going to show you. So I, I bred, and they looked very similar to these snakes, and they're not. This boy 
This boy is an Enchi pinstripe, red stripe, orange dream. It's a really nice, cool looking pattern. He's produced a couple clutches for me in the past. I love this guy. He's got great potential. And we all love red stripe, right? You can see the red stripe right here. And that orange is all from Orange Dream. Now, oh, now, no one's, now no one's cooperating. Okay, this guy is my Mandarin Pinstripe Spider Fire Pastel. So you can see, they both are very orange, you know, and especially with that fire gene. The fire and the Mandarin make, make it look very Orange Dreamish. <laughs> They're taking off, their, they're escaping, the two of them. It's like Stallone and, and uh, and Schwarzenegger, escape plan. So anyway, I put them both in with the same female and I think we have a double sired clutch. So I wanted to show you the males so you can understand why they're confusing, but we'll be able to see when we see the babies what the results are and why they are the way they are. All right, here's the clutch. Once again, we have two eggs that haven't hatched yet. So I don't really have the whole, the whole story yet, but let's pull out a bunch of these ones right here. All right, looking at these guys right here, you think you have the father figured out. We know we have a red stripe, orange dream, pin stripe Enchi, bred to a Enchi butter. These four babies would be pretty consistent since they all pretty much look like they're red stripe. They have this crazy red stripe down their back. Right, so it has to come from the red stripe daddy. What's in here exactly, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, these look like red stripe butters to me. And I don't know if this has, this might have orange dream in it. That's debatable. They're probably Enchi. This one's probably Enchi because it's cleaner. This one's a lot lighter. I, to tell you the truth, have no idea what is in these these guys. Um, I think this could be, I think this, this whole weirdness here is like the pinstripe, red stripe, butter mixture. All right, so you can see the dorsal striping here says it all. Um, this one's really cool. You know, they, re they really almost look a little clownish the way the butter interacts with the pinstripe over here because for some reason butter and pinstripe look like clown and butter i don't know why <laughs> i just noticed that but these are definitely from the one uh the one sire for sure and then you get this guy here and i haven't sexed these so i don't know what it is this is clearly pastel look at the head and the body and this is clearly pastel mandarin. You know, I've, I've produced them before. This is a, this is definitely mandarin. And I would even venture to guess it's, it could be fire too. So this could be pastel mandarin fire. Definitely a dual sired clutch. What's interesting about this is my second one I've gotten this year, but usually people don't think you get these in ball pythons. You, you see them sometimes like in boas and retics and, and even berms but you don't usually see it in ball pythons, but I, I have had two this year, so it definitely happens. And there's no doubt that this does not have the same sire as these guys. So these guys are really cool. And I'm gonna have to really spend some time trying to figure out exactly which genes they got, because there's a, there's a lot of genes at work here mixed together. And these four are definitely from the same clutch. Obviously we have two more still to go. Um, hopefully they'll be from this Mandarin clutch. But this one is very, very, very cool. and. If you didn't, if you don't write down everything, see, I write it all down. So I wrote down that there were two possible fathers. So I wouldn't be, you know, crazy confused when they all hatched and I didn't know what the heck was going on. So, all right, that's the story. Just thought I'd give you a little update and a little uh, education that, hey, dual sired clutches are possible with ball pythons. <laughs>
right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. You know, we've talked about trying to identify hidden genes in these leucistics like the Super Mojaves, the Ivories, the Super Fires by using a black light. I Sometimes I haven't had uh, luck in the past, but I had a really good, you know, black light, uh, also known as UV light. Um, I It was a real like focused light and I turned off all the lights. And as you can see, there was definitely some pattern there we saw. Is it GHI? It might be because it really can't be anything else. It could be, it could be pastel, but I don't think pastel would really necessarily um, show off that much, but the GHI might. So one of them had no pattern, you know, and then the other two had some, some striping, some dorsal striping. So that's, that could be a clue that there is GHI in there. So that's super exciting. And of course those are, those super Mojaves were all females. And they were all had clowns. So good potential. At least two of those will be up for sale. So if you guys are interested, hit me up on that. And then of course we had that dual sired clutch that was, you know, it still hasn't hatched out completely. But I definitely see two different daddies in that picture, and I showed you the two. They look pretty close, those two dads, and they, and they have completely different genes in them. But the bottom line is one's Mandarin, one's Orange Dream. And so, you know, we got to keep those separate. Thank God for that pastel gene in, in, the, um, in the one father. If it wasn't in there, I would never be able to identify. I would have thought that was Orange Dream, you know. But once I saw that pastel, I knew it couldn't have come from the, the pinstripe, red stripe daddy because there's no pastel in there. So it kind of saved my life in that sense. And uh, now we know that we have a pastel mandarin, pastel mandarin fire possibly. And that's, that, that's, that's a much higher end animal, of course. So, um, you know, probably, I haven't sexed it yet, but there's a good possibility that one could be held back. We'll see. The key is write down who your potential breeders are. Even if you have a mail-in for one day, I know you might, you put a bit mail-in, you're like, yeah, you know what?